Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the PSA Dagger Micro. Did a tabletop review on this. I said I took the bait and I did. I traded for this and pretty happy. It has some upgrades here that are super cool but they made them optic ready. And I have a shield SMSC on there and you may notice slide cuts. There are many aftermark slides available for the micro handguns already. There are so many. This is an 80% arms slide and with that also has a cut on the top strap but it has a fiber optic front sight. But the dagger became very popular primarily because of the cost and then what happened was the dagger kept getting a little more feature loaded then they started making them optic ready then threaded barrels and various colors and so forth the dagger micro they came out with it's already doing that and a lot of aftermarket parts but one of the things that PSA did right is that they made a essentially a shield arms 15 round mag the s15 but they call it the micro slick and that polymer piece right there prevents you from having to change out the mag catch which is a very nice touch 33 bucks for the micro slick mag holds 15 rounds and you don't have to change out the mag catch like you have to with the shield arms s15 but overall we're looking at a 3.4 inch barrel one of the things i like with the dagger micro is that the trigger is nicer than the dagger. In my opinion, initially, the dagger was 7 pounds. This I'm measuring a little over 5 pounds with the reset right there. I'm not always a fan of the hinged trigger, but I don't mind them either if they're done well. And I think this one is done well. The gun is performing well. I've had two light primer strikes so far off camera. And so I don't know if it's, this is not a new gun. However, could be an ammo issue, but I don't think so because the ammo that I've been running seems to function very well with other handguns. I'm gonna wait and see yet. But if you're familiar with the Glock 43X, this is essentially the same size. But the difference comes in with the price. 340 bucks for the Dagger Micro. And then here we have a Shield SMS-C on there. And then the rear sight is serrated black. Yeah, you can still access the, the fiber optic front sight because the Shield has a little cutout right there. But not bad. I like it that the trigger is better than the original Dagger which means it's a little bit lighter and then the reset is right there. So it's a short reset, nice overall grip texturing. So far it's working for me, a little concerned with those light primer struts. I think Paul Metal State Armory did a nice job with the dagger. Couple issues. The ejection pattern is sort of all over the place. I felt a couple come back and hit me on the top of my head. It still fired, but on two occasions only, it did not fire because of the light primer strikes I spoke about. Other than that, it is doing what it needs to do. I like the 15 round mags. I like the size of the handgun. I like the aftermarket support. And I like the price. I like it that they made them all optic ready. And the aftermarket support is super cool if you like a slide that looks like that. Many companies are making slides for this handgun already. And the Glock 43X, by the way. They are interchangeable. So that's what you're getting with the PSA Dagger. $340. Bucks. Not a bad MSRP. 
and you get these micro slick mags and it's certainly a benefit so I don't regret at all making a trade for this I'm pretty happy but I'm not to the point yet where I would trust carrying it just because of those primer strikes. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.